say welcome. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Hey everybody and welcome to Switch Fest 2. We're here with Pokin. I'm Wonder Chef. This is Goken Respect. What's up everyone? Oh yeah. I'm gonna pretend that I have some energy for today, but <laughs> we've got <laughs> the do. top six going on for Pokin. Uh, we have six players left from uh, quite a few different areas actually. Yes. And uh, I believe we're gonna be starting with the losers bracket actually. We so are. I'm just gonna read off this bracket. Uh, in winners we've got Mutator against Tech. In losers, we have Rubs versus Marks, and then we have Kamon versus Every Damn Day. Yeah. So uh, we've got, I don't know, we've got a lot of regions. I'm we do have a lot of different regions. It. So it's I know we have Mutator, Oregon, mm -hmm. and then uh, Tech we found out from Minnesota, and then Rubs, uh, UK, and then uh, Marks, uh, now Here SoCal. Now. Technically, yeah. Yeah. So now we can root for him. That's crazy, but awesome. Uh, and then came on East Coast, and then every damn day, SoCal. All right. Wow. Sweet. Yeah. And uh, we actually have some really good character exactly. diversity. We this do. Time around too. Yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing all that character diversity coming up right now. We're gonna see some a little bit of diversity. We're gonna see one end of the spectrum in Ages Lash, who a lot of uh, players would consider uh, one of the best in the in the game currently. Yeah. Yeah. It's still a, a really difficult character to use, though. For sure. And we're gonna see uh, definitely not the only Darkrai in this top six. Nope, actually there are multiple Darkrais, which is cool Potentially to three, right? Potentially, yeah, depending on if every damn day decides to go with Darkrai. He has multiple characters at the ready, it's but like here we go. 2.3 Darkrais. Yeah. Whoa, that was a really Whoa. aggressively space forward walk. It was, he's just like, let's see what you do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna test it. And he literally just sat there and waited to see what he did. <laughs> Oh, trying to go into shield stands early, but getting stuffed quickly into Nightmare. This is where Darkrai shines in dual phase. Very hard to challenge most of what he wants to do, even if you're Age Slash. Gotta respect a lot of Darkrai oh, options. Oh, that was nice! Uh, and of course, oh wow, Man. this is a little conversion. Could have done something there. Ooh, Rubs came to nice. play right now. He, he accounted for every option that Mark could take right there. Wow, the, the walk up super delayed Dark Charge Day. Yeah. Ooh, trying to go with the oh, JXs again. Oh, and reading the counters. That was like almost a perfect round there from Rubs. Like he read every option that Marks was going to do and accounted for almost every option he could take right there. That was so good. Clean yeah. round from Rubs. Super aggressive play from Rubs too. Yes. Like even in situations He's going in yeah, already again. He's like, no, we're not playing back against this character. We got to stop him early. It's smart though. It makes sense. There are a lot of options that uh, Age Slash Ooh. is going to have that are going to be able to counter his zoning. His okay, traps. but finally Marks got the miss set up. Oh, oh, two oh, grab attempts. Oh, oh. Okay, the first one was just barely avoided. The second one didn't get the full punish on the crit because of the uh, magic harp. Yep. Oh, okay, poking him out. That's a good punish. I've actually never seen quite so many jump X's from uh, me neither. Dark right here. But he's going aggressive, like you said, and it's working out. Nightmare mode. Here we go. All right, this is a good start. Now, uh, are we going to see any burst? We can see. I think we kind of need to see a defensive we, burst we here from probably Marks. do. Oh, no, wow. Maybe not. Countering right through and getting a good amount of damage with the attack buff now on deck. Yeah, getting the Shadow Sneak Oki. Just needs to get one more hit. I like HP. the walking sideways, though. The Rub's doing field to avoid a lot of these projectiles. Oh, oh, just another oh, walk oh. up as well. All right, so that was actually a huge risk that Marks took. It was. Deciding to, uh, when, when Badger Rising was up, just staying in, uh, not using Burst, staying classic. I yeah, guess you, could say. you know what I think happened is in that first round, he did go for a lot of throws against Rubs and they didn't work. So maybe Rubs was expecting him, oh, I conditioned him not to throw anymore, and now he's going to get thrown more. Right. Do you know if this is 2 out of 3 or 3 out of 5? Uh, this is probably 2 out of 3 still. All right. I'm assuming we're 2 out of 3 all the way until final. Until final. Yeah, I would guess so as well. Oh, beats the 8x. Yes, indeed. We're going 2x. The yo yo. Oh, good oh. conversion. Well, 2x, 2x, OK. okay. Oh. Okay, that, that was the question that Mutator asked on Twitter earlier. He said, if there's pretty much th that amount of face shift points left, do you take the 2x or do you try to get away? Oh, and right. I, I do jump. remember that question, yes. That was actually a pretty good question. <laughs> Woo! Let's go. Into duel with Nightmare and Burst. Kajirisu. All right, so the only real big fear here is the grab. Ooh, nice anti-air. At this point, I think it's pretty safe to reverse oh, Burst. Oh, no! Three meter! And I, that... So oh. much damage. He's at 130 HP just like that. All right, you got to burst now. You got to. He perfect block that. He perfect blocked it. Okay. Yeah, but good respect from Marks realizing that it was perfect blocked. Yep. Okay, what's going to happen? He's waiting. Nice patience there from Rub. Didn't fall for the bait. All right, one HP. Just taking a lot it's of trouble. So from scary that. for Rubs right now. 19 seconds. Oh, that shield break. Shield break's not okay, going to do almost gonna anything, though. Oh, nice. Oh, Hold on. Is it enough? Is it enough? Is it enough? 
Oh, oh no! The base hit points! One HP to five oh HP! My God, he's Patrisu up! Patrisu up! It's getting rid of the trap! Oh, oh and the three! No. That was so delayed! He delayed that like just by a second! He's like, are you going to flinch? And then he got the grab! Wow! wow. Oh, what a way to start this top six! That was so good! Yeah, Marx is doing such wow. a great job of even oh. sometimes when the throws aren't working out, not giving conditions to completely stop throwing. You know, we like, yes. for instance, we saw him almost lose. He went down to 5 HP because that throw was tech by the 8x. But in the end, he went back to it. He's he still been back to, went and back he's like, to it. He's like, oh, you think you scared me? You no. have not scared me. You have not just yet. I'm not conditioned like that. That's not how it works. Again, he's really testing rubs. Wow! Throws, okay, okay. Maybe sometimes you don't get anything off that. Okay, very nice stuff there from rubs. Yep. Keeping him in field. Oh, that actually caught yeah, just I didn't barely. Tell. I, I couldn't tell because yeah, of the, the game <laughs> I mean, great hit confirmed by Marks, because <laughs> obviously you were seeing from his point of view. Yes. So it's uh it's really hard to tell. Uh, just barely whiffing. Oh, oh. Yeah, that was a risk. I mean it's punishable, but you're not gonna get all that much from uh Dark Ride, so that's for sure. Okay, Marks is building off this momentum that he got from that last win really well. Wow! Oh, good cancel. And again going for the throw. Marks? All right, so Wow. Mark's t match point here, and the big question is, he's done so many throws, but is he going to change it up in the final moment? I don't think so. <laughs> it, it's, it's tough to know. That's I the really up. don't. This is Mark's typical play style. Oh, yeah, you're like right. You're I right. Said, you got it. Mark's does like to repeat options over and over again, even if you adjust. And it works a lot. All right, going for another reset. Naoki just chilling, just controlling this corner, saying, you're not yeah. in bad dreams rising. Oh, I'm not afraid of you. I don't gosh. care. Oh, my gosh. This is Mark's game to lose right now. And that's yeah. it! Whoa. Wow, super convincing game two from Mark's, but that first game was insanely close. But then, like you said, Mark's kept going to that same option and it just capitalized off it every time. Well, he honestly just did a great job of, of mixing up his options. I yeah. mean, Age Slash, it is a not, a, not a high health character, but a huge damage character, right? Huge, I mean, you saw at the very yeah. end how much damage he got. And Darkrai, generally, not a huge damage character. So yeah. if you're just gonna play that type of game and just try to make the right reads as much as possible, then it works. And yeah. then, of course, you know, there's so many, like, guaranteed, safer setups that uh, Age Slash can set you up into. And then, of course, take the momentum against Darkrai. And uh, I really do love how aggressive Rubs was playing within that first he game. He was, right. and it was working out, right. but Marks just didn't wasn't uh, turned off by it, and he just kept to his game plan, which was to repeat options over and over and over, which is Marks's general strat, and it worked. Hey, no, I mean, yeah, I mean, it, to, to be fair, you make it sound like it was just like, oh, he's just gonna do this like, over and over and over, but like, no, no, no. But, but it was like a very, very solid game plan. I mean, for instance, it like, is, it was. you know, after after he blocked the uh, back wide field, yes. he threw several times, right? Yes. But that very final hit was he just went for straight homing. True. He didn't go for anything fancy. He didn't True. go for forward wide. He didn't yeah, go yeah, for yeah. anything. He was just like, I'm going in. I don't that care. was the final. Yeah. So yep. he's mixing it up very, very strongly, he, and he he's, definitely uh, is. He's reading the risk reward situations well. Yes. And I think really the only way that Rubs was gonna uh, take it was he 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 knew off the bat. He's like, I have to control the pace. I have to make sure that it's basically my turn 100% of the time. I have to get bad dreams rising early. And that's why the game one, I think, was so close. But then in game two, he just wasn't able to get it started. Pretty much. Uh, that's it, what I'm it came down to. Yeah, it's, it's, tough. it's tough to get it started. Yeah, but I mean, Mark, like I was saying, more so that even though he does repeat options over and over again, it mm -hmm. is more of a mental thing. Uh, to get inside the other player's head and just to keep... Uh, and we're about to see another player, actually, that makes use of that same kind of technique or strategy uh, to get into the mind of the other player, which is uh, every damn day, he does tend to resort to uh, repeated options to get into the other player's head because he's like, yeah. oh, you're going to think that I'm going to change it up now. But in fact, I'm just going to repeat the same option and you, we're going to see how well you actually change it up. Yeah, and every once in a while, Ed goes for like, very actually quite often, he goes for like the really disrespectful things. You know, He like really it, does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, 100%. A lot of times you'll play him casually and you'll be like, wow, this guy's playing like a fool. He's kind of playing like an ass, you know? <laughs> and then you uh, you play him a tournament and you're like, oh, he's just really playing mind games with he you, is. you know? He is, yes. And that that is what he excels at in his game plan. And All it right. works out a lot of the time. So I have two questions. First yeah. question, why, am, why I, have like, I have to like crouch into this camera? I feel like I'm like, we have to get real close <laughs> in. I'm just gonna stand normally and I'm gonna be like, hey guys, you can see Hi. my head. How's uh, it going? Question number two. Um, <laughs> Who do you think Ed is going to go? So came on, we're almost definitely going to see Dark Ride, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure Ed's going to go Weavile. He might choose to do the mirror. I don't expect to see Decidueye 
I expect really? to see. Yeah, I expect to see. Rebuild. I think uh, a lot of people do kind of like the draw against Darkrai. Yeah, um, it may be, but I don't. I, I just think Ed, from what I saw yesterday, uh, seemed to be playing mostly okay. Weavile. Well, like, we, we do see that. That's yeah. what's going to be. So uh, Ed just generally does seem like he tends to go for Weavile as his starting pick against pretty much every matchup. Yeah. Uh, unless he knows maybe that he's going to be against like a Machamp or something like that. Uh, like Darkrai is like absolutely the pick. Yes. Hundred uh, percent. His Weavile has been kind of his tried and true for. Forever, pretty mm -hmm. much, and it's you know we've always not a character that has matchups where you're like, oh my god, y yeah. you know usually that's, uh, that's I I would I would mostly agree with that yeah, yeah. and he he also wants to do really well with uh, with Weavile all the time. Uh, I remember back you know when he moved to SoCal, uh, he was saying like he thinks that Weavile like. He, he can do really well with Weavile. He wants to represent Weavile well. He wants to do really well in a major with Weavile. Yes. He wants to prove that it can be done. I, I mean, this is his chance to break through that uh, barrier that he's been experiencing in uh, the last few majors he's played where he hasn't really uh, shined as well as he's wanted to. Mm -hmm. And like you just talked about, how he really wants to make Weavile uh, the center of that. Uh, and so now's his chance. And like I said, I think for most of his matches that I saw him play, I, I can't recall seeing much Dark Rider to Sichuan. It was mm -hmm. almost entirely Weavile. So nice. I think he plans on keeping that going. Yeah, yeah, I know we've uh, we've been doing a lot of 3v3. You know, we've been doing pretty much half 3v3, half singles in SoCal. We have. And Up to Worlds. Yeah, so yeah. honestly, one of the coolest things about that uh, at, at Locals is that it really gives you a chance to try all of your characters at the same time. So when you go back to singles, you kind of get a, a better comparison. You know what I'm saying? I agree. And the, the cool thing about 3s is, yes, it did. It did. Like, if you wanted to play 3s, it essentially forced you to... Uh, learning more characters if you didn't already yeah. have them in your arsenal, which was good for me, especially because I was mainly a sweeping player and I developed more characters. And like, we, I was talking with someone last night about Mutator, who, you know, now, I mean, he's been rocking this whole tournament with Shadow Mewtwo, and like, we yeah, may not have seen that as Mutator's much. Because Mutator's cheap. Yeah. We may not have seen that as much, though, if what? we didn't play the 3v3 format, the team battle format, because then he was he was essentially forced to use two additional characters. So H slash one of them, but also Shadow Mewtwo in addition to his Mewtwo. So yeah. now he's showing us that he really took the time to learning the characters and he can excel it with um, Shadow Mewtwo in the uh, singles mode. Yeah, on the other side, there are a lot of players, like uh, I think Every Damn Day actually did kind of suffer from this, where uh, they play so many characters that a lot of times yes. I'm not sure if they feel comfortable. That's true. Like deciding on who they're gonna play until like the moment they choose that character, and even then, like they, it gives them some hesitation, right? I agree. And uh, hopefully, Ed getting a little bit more of a chance to like play with all his characters at the same time gives him this chance to say, you know what? I'm using all of them right now. I can feel Weavile, and so I just know. You know, I just know. It gives me the confidence. Yeah, I think that was his game plan going into this tournament. He's like, I'm just gonna commit to one character pretty much. Uh, so that I can see how far it can take me. And if I really need to, I'll switch. But I think that removed a lot of the uh, hesitation uh, from the character select screen, hopefully, for him. Yeah. And uh, Kaelin, on the other hand, going Darkrai. Now, Darkrai is, uh, is such an interesting character. I feel like more and more everybody... I mean, everybody knew Darkrai was scary, but yes. more and more we're seeing just Darkrai more and more. I agree. I'm going to keep saying more and more, more and more. Yeah. Uh, 100%. I think when he first came out, he was... Uh, it was a little uncertain as to how good he actually was, and then for a while people kind of put him off to the on the shelf a little bit. And yeah, then once some so players put him in the spotlight good. again, then they're like, "Oh wow, actually, Darkrai can really excel in certain matchups, and has probably one of the best matchups in the entire game <laughs> against Macham yeah. out of any character." So there you go. Well, I mean, there are a few good matchups that you're gonna want with Darkrai. Now sure. this matchup, I'm gonna admit, I've pretty much never seen it. Uh, at a pretty high level. I or haven't if I have, really it's either. only been like, yeah. it's been very barely. Like, I haven't seen a single set of this. Yeah, we're going to uh, have to see how this goes. But the good thing about Ed is he really knows Darkrai. So yeah. hopefully that will help him out a lot against Kmon. It looks like he's controlling field pretty well, well I say, as he loses field. <laughs> it happens. Yeah. It happens. It only happens when we say it. <laughs> exactly. It's the commentator's curse special. Yeah. So uh, I'm not sure exactly how much you want to challenge with agility here. Yeah. Try to jump early and took so much damage just for that one option. He's playing Kachirisu against Darkrai, which could definitely help. Oh wow, back dashes. That back dash so good in Bad Dreams Rising. Oh, okay, six. Oh, six Y. Oh wow, that was weird. weird. That was weird, but it's very good for Ed. He keeps trying to go to the air, but uh, Kmon is on top of that. Oh, again. Oh, it traded with yeah. the jump X. Wow. 
I don't know. I want to know what to call those little trails that, uh, that like, all Dark Eyes moves. Oh, nice, nice read on the Dark Pulse. All right, so this is going to be a really big start. Whoa, oh. I don't know what that was, though. I don't know. Some sort of reset is going to get caught and lose some of his synergy. And so that means we're still in Bad Dreams Rising. I would have definitely taken that opportunity to feel shift. And, yeah, that's going to be it. Yeah, I think he's... Uh, He's trying to find his balance here because you saw him like taking to the air on the ice and trying to play defensively for a little bit. Then he's like, okay, now I need to go overly aggressive. And I think he needs to just uh, commit to feel like what's going to work against Game 1. Yeah, I, I mean, he needs to be struggling with his game plan a little bit. Yeah, this is uh, definitely another bad situation, another bad Dreams Rising. Okay, I want to see, sure. honestly, some reads with just agility A. Uh, you know, oh, 6Y. Okay, here's where he can get started on the wall, get, get the mix up. Ooh, nice GX. Trying Still to hasn't shifted. Okay, okay. Very nice. Okay, I got the classic CADC grab. So this is where he wants to stay, for sure. Yep. Same plus. Oh, nice nice plus. counter. Woo. All right, this is the third Bad Dreams Rising so far. Yeah, quite a lot. That's three too many when you're playing against It Dark definitely Rising. is. You do not want to fight this character in this mode. Ooh, Ooh, X. Oh, right into the... Ed is playing very confidently, but sometimes it looks like it's working against him. Like it, it actually he is. Game on. Looks like he feels comfy again. For sure. All right, popping pa Patrice right now. Getting hit away early, though. All right, let's see how Ed makes use of his burst. He's not going to get a chance to really use it much, though. Oh, and he pop burst. Oh, Umbreon oh, is not yeah. outside of the range. Just to prevent even that chip from happening. 18 seconds. Whoa. Yeah, bit. 18 it's seconds is really tough for Weavile, who's not a high damage hard. Maybe find a slide in here, but I'm not sure what else he's going to be able to really get off to get things I started. I know. I feel like you got to go for agility A. He's yeah, looking to enough damage. He's got to make something happen now. Now, like past tense. <laughs> oh, like, yeah, like three seconds ago. Uh, and so that's game one. Yeah, he waited just a little too long to try to take a risk, it felt like there, because at that point, there was no staying back. There was only less than 10 seconds. You had to make something happen. So I would have rather seen like a raw knockoff or a slide, anything yeah. to like try to land a hit. It's, it's dumb time at that point, you know? You, yeah, got, you, gotta, you gotta go dumb. You have to. Yeah, he was trying to play more calculated there, but I don't think you can. Oh, he, oh, he's gonna go for the mirror. He's gonna try to make this happen in the mirror. Now, his dark Darkrai, in my opinion, has, has been, like especially I was watching him at Worlds a lot, even though he didn't do well in the tournament, uh, a lot of the side events, he was playing Dark Rye, and he was excelling. <laughs> right, so oh, he's like, all right, I'm right. ready. I'm feeling the Dark Rye mirror. Here we go. All right, Dark Rye mirrors. We did see this a good amount of worlds, too, just in general. Yes, uh, definitely. A lot of the teams see actually more and more, right. more and more, more and more. Indeed, we are. More and more. All right, this is going to be interesting to see how this goes yeah. down. The As bolt. you'd expect, field phase is the most important phase, and maybe the only phase. <laughs> it could be the only yeah. phase we see, <laughs> depending on what they what their game plan is. All right, so we are watching Ed. Yeah, Ed already has two bucks. Oh, he's going to lose a three quarter. All right, he's um, playing Frog, whereas Kmon's choosing to play the counter in Pachirisu. Yeah. That's interesting. Pachirisu could get yeah. rid of Frog, too, potentially. That's also that's interesting right. that he switched to Pachirisu in general, because he was surprised at the Dark Rise choice, right? Right, right, right. But I guess he was, yeah. yeah. Wow, this is, <laughs> we just talked about we could be only seeing PL phase, and so far. <laughs> oh, that's such a good setup. <laughs> Look at that mirror. Oh, he avoided it. Wow. Wow, he got hit by it, though. This, yeah, that was, uh, that was very awkward. Could have got a little bit more of a punish off of that. Okay, nasty plotting the frog deer again. Oh, the double, double counter! Oh! It goes So up. good. Came on knows this character so well. Oh my gosh. A little too well right now. Yeah, the big issue here was that Ed just, or, he just lost the, the very first phase. Like, he, yeah. he lost it damage wise before he actually lost it. All right. So the difference here is that Came on just looks so comfortable right now. The difference here is Bad Dreams Rising and about 400 health. True. And the glowing hands on him on side. <laughs> True. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that didn't mean anything. It was just nice to see. We, all, we already That's knew that sure. there was no real answer there. Yeah. I think Every Damn Day still has that overly calculated mentality here. I think he's just got to be willing. Because like I said, the classic Every Damn Day, I feel like, is just repeating often then. Getting in there and yeah. making your opponent scared to do something. I know, he's he's playing like, he's not playing like Ed right no, now. No, I don't feel like he is at all. He's playing like every damn day. <laughs> right? There is a difference. What's his real name? That's the question. 
I don't actually know what his real name oh, is. Oh, Brandon? Brandon? Yeah. Is it Brandon? Yes, it is. All right, he's playing like Brandon. He's not playing like Ed. <laughs> That's really what it is. Yeah, this is looking just bad. He doesn't even have burst yet. Oh, my oh, gosh. No. Getting caught trying to jump out. This is, yeah, he's trying to straighten up in his chair, trying to make something happen here. But Amon just looks so strong on spacing and everything. Yeah, Nasty plot and getting hit out. He's got to build first here to have a chance. Oh, that's no, that's it. it. That's going to be the whole thing. I think. No, oh, no, he never mind. Need HP. Hold on. I'm sorry, he couldn't get more. I think okay. maybe he's Please make line. miracles happen. Please make miracles happen. I would just love to see a miracle. Me too, um, but that's a reversal throw oh for the set. Oh, my gosh. That was just so rough looking. All right, but. Good stuff to Kamon advancing in the loser side. Two relatively quick losers matches there. Yeah, yeah. But uh, interestingly enough, we did see a Darkrai win, and then yes. we saw a Darkrai lose. That means that Marx is going to have to go up against another Darkrai, wow. right? We'll see how he handles it. I mean, Kamon's a different breed of Darkrai, in my opinion. A you, very, very different Darkrai. Yeah. I mean, almost every Darkrai plays quite differently, right? Sure. Uh, there's Which so is many cool different to see. decisions that you got to make. It's awesome to see the different play styles, for sure. Yeah, but so. uh, before we, of course, get to that, we have to go to Winner's Finals, which I'm assuming is going to be 3 out of 5. And that I hope is, so. This is a set that I'm really looking forward Same to. Same here, so, yes. Uh, unfortunately, I guess nothing was streamed yesterday, right? No, sadly. Uh, well, a lot of matches were recorded. Yeah, okay, so good. Hopefully uh, we have some uploads. Hopefully. Uh, yes. But, so if, if all of you haven't seen, I mean, so I guess we saw it at uh, Toryuken. Was that the Canada tournament that Mitsuda was just at? Yes. Okay, okay. Yes. Uh, so we saw a little bit there, but I can't wait for everybody to see Mutator's updated solo Shadow Mewtwo. It's so godlike. It has leveled up, like, consistently, like, for those of you guys who didn't uh, see any footage from Evo, um, Mutator rocked solo Shadow Mewtwo throughout that entire event yeah. M1. Yeah, that's true. I guess there, there was also some uh, some Evo stuff. But, of course, some somehow, you know, maybe that's the curse. Maybe, maybe the curse is that you don't get a live stream if you're watching Ed's, <laughs> or Ed, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Ed, Ed, Ed Jr.'s Mewtwo, Shadow Mewtwo. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, his, uh, it's it's just a curse, I guess. I, it might be. The, the, if the stream shuts off right before this match starts, you guys know <laughs> that it's Mutator's fault. It's Mutator's yeah. fault playing Shadow Mewtwo. No, <laughs> just, though, I was playing against the Shadow Mewtwo. Oh, my gosh. I've never wanted to play Shadow Mewtwo more in my life. Yeah, it's he makes so you want to play the character. But on the other side, we are going to have Tech. Who, wow, stream over by. Jeez. Whoa. Thanks. Thanks, what? Oh, it's the curse. It's the curse. It's the curse. GG's, everybody. Thank see, gosh, see you all next time. See you at Switch Fest 3. Hey. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, on the other side we've got Tech, yes. of course, playing Scizor, who I think is one of the coolest characters in the game and 100%. Uh, very underrepresented. Has so many unique options, yeah. especially after, out of his dashes, out of his counter. There's just so many weird things you can do with him, and uh, very interesting conversions with bounces and everything. Yeah. It's super fun to watch. We get to see his uh, all the options like uh, you know counter into CADC counter, or we can see dash into counter, yep. or we can see. Uh, Pretty much that, yeah. Yeah, no, but no, 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 no. but <laughs> that, there's kidding. a lot that comes I'm, from that, I'm just though. kidding, I'm just kidding. A lot no. of follow-ups, a lot of interesting mix-ups. All, all, mix all jokes aside, right, um, the like the, the really good scissors aren't just going to sit there and spam counter. Yes, uh, the, that's true. The mobility of this character and all the different ways that you set things up and you control space is so, so cool. Like, the fact this that he's true. got bullet punch at different ranges, mm -hmm. but you have to be so specific in your spacing, yeah. and his mobility can be really good, but can also be a little bit weak because it has a forward-moving jump X. 100%. This character definitely takes a while to master. Oh, oh, uh, yeah. So we're going to see how Mutator handles it. Yeah, and this is going to be a high-health, high-damage character against Shadow Mewtwo, yeah. uh, where... It almost doesn't even matter, but the, the damage nice. is going to mean a lot, and that was a great X. way to punish it. It would have beat even if he tried to see ADC exactly. or uh, fully charge or anything that he would have done. Oh. Oh. Getting in there early, though. And there, we already see that mobility working out really well. Most characters would not have had a great That's situation true. there. He could have had a whip punish opportunity. He didn't take advantage. A lot of weird height issues right now. That's true. All right. Oh, setting up a reset. Oh, oh very nice. Look at fake that. out. Nice. Going for the back X. Now, that does uh, break armor, and you can dash cancel out of it. Another oh, fake out. And into and another. Fake. Oh, this Could is a great wow. way to start. That's going to be What a start it. from Tech. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We got some pop-offs off screen. <laughs> People are getting excited for this Scizor gameplay. So many mix-ups there early with all these cancels. And that was like a statement. Honestly, could have seen a big But here at comes some point. Mutator with already half health down on oh, Tech. Oh, also going for a reset. What? <laughs> what? That was totally Dude, accidental. Why, 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 side strike that on was block totally and accidental. Hit. I don't even know what's happening in this set, and we're like, no five one does. In. None of us do. Okay. No, that's gonna that's whiff. That's gonna whiff, I think. Okay, okay. Oh, he didn't opt to try to punish. What? What? He was going the other way. <laughs> 
All right, All that's right. a lot of damage, too. I don't know what's happening. Burst is gone. Frog is still available. He's Petra got the swords up as well. Yeah, when you're in burst, you get four swords instead of two every time you call it. Oh, nice. that's Nice. Just stuff. outlasting that. Oh, JY. Side okay. strike, going for Getting the full just damage. There Double just frames. Yeah, Mutate has got those. All right, he's getting close to a uh, recover. Okay, another burst. HP. Quite a lot of HP recovered, actually. There. I actually don't think he really minds that situation for that Patrice, because now he can frog it here pretty safely. He's just dashing in. What? Oh, that's so Dodge unsafe. Frog. What? It was oh, supposed to be unsafe. Up. Yo, oh! U-turn! He had no fear in doing that U-turn. He's like, Mutator, you're definitely going to try to tap me right here. U-turn's going to work. Yo, I'm looking at Rapid's mom in the audience, and her eyes are so wide. <laughs> <laughs> her eyes are like, what? Wow. I don't think anybody really awesome to see. understands what just happened to the entire set. So that <laughs> that was like a lot of really hard reads. Wow. Now, Mutator is, uh, that's actually a really scary way to play against Mutator. For sure. Mutator is one of the players that adapts really at a masterful level. I don't he even really know, wanna, does. Like, so don't think that this is uh, over by any stretch of the imagination. No, I actually think I would not be surprised if we saw this go into Mutator's favor. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, he's definitely taking his time a little more now in field. Not not over asserting himself. There yeah. we go. Nice stuff. He's realizing the situations that he's been put in, and nice he wants stuff. to just not be in the situation. True. Oh, oh another there it is. All right. So he's been only about 50-50. I love this combo with just the single. Oh no! Oh no! Set up a little bit though. Able to be safe and teleporting out. Frog. Ooh, Patsy's gonna get That's rid of it. Punish, isn't it? Oh no! It's oh not. what? What? Wait, what? The second hit of five. Wow. Six X X. Okay, I don't know. That was all weird. The second oh hit six X X got stopped by jump X though. I don't even know. That's gonna stop. No, no. it's not. It's just outlasting the flamethrower. <laughs> nice patience from Tech here. Uh oh, gotta deal with first now. Yeah, and a little bit of a life lead. So one can protect. Oh, should be that's it. gonna be it. Wait, he didn't go into first. Oh yeah, he could have just six could X first. That, I think go to one. I think. What? Okay, I don't know. We and outlasted it. it. Wow. He's just like, hey, barely. I've got a great top tier counter too. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> that counter attack is very hard to get around because it hits so high up. Mm -hmm. Ooh, right away. That getting into the face shift. Good call out. There are a lot of times you want to set up there as Scizor. So Another Pazurisu called to get rid of Frog. Oh, everybody's whiffing. Wow. Did he just see ADC back yeah, through that? That was so oh. weird. And a defensive Cover vortex. early. Okay, big conversion here and the wall splat. Okay. And going for a weird reset there. Yeah, indeed. That should be low profile. Oh, oh no! We tried to teleport, but couldn't get around it. Had he actually gone into like a special there, he could have potentially stopped block? any of the options. Oh, no, he didn't quite for block then. Oh, oh, he wasn't able to get conversion off of that. Not quite. All right, TC taking his time, just setting out the staples. So we can see so much guaranteed chip here. So much. Or, yeah, he nice. He punished out on reaction. Oh, just no fear throw. That's that going to be so much. My oh, no. HP. Alive. Oh, he was in burst. He was in burst. Oh, Patsy's gonna get rid of that. Is he safe? He is. Yeah, he's safe, but it's still a scary situation. Very scary. He's like two mix ups away from death still. Yep. Oh, oh, nice stop there. Mutator reacting properly to the attempt to use those swords. Yeah, this is gonna be the tough part here is that Tech was making some incredible reads and some incredible plays with like resets and stuff the first game, but. Mutator is, is it's so hard to do anything but just literally beat him at everything that he wants to do, you know? 100%. He is, if there's, honestly, if there's like a smartest player in the scene, it might be Mutator. I, I don't think, know I think it would have to be, be, not only based off results, but if you ever hear him talk about the game, yeah. he can talk about it for so long and with so much detail about every character's frame data. It's just ridiculous. And so many different situations. I mean, yeah. things like, have you seen how he's been using Jump X to stuff the counter? Yeah, I, no, he knows, yeah. he knows. It. Like, he labs these situations, you can tell. Cool. Okay, get in the basketball bounces, let's go. Sick hmm. conversion, uses the swords. He's gonna get another setup for it, though. Ooh, early release on the counter. Nice chase down from yeah. Mutator to get the grab. Not quite a crit, but nope. he's still gonna get burst. Build back so much health there. Yeah, that was half a lot. His Ooh, the, very scary. Ooh, <laughs> first, that was one of the first. I think we only saw one Vortex before that. That was a, that was a really smart read. He knew that there was the potential of a counter there yep. because he'd been, he got hit by that by the U-turn earlier, and he uh, he started doing the 6X again, sorry, 6A again. Oh, that's... Couldn't I, jump out. I don't know what this conversion is, honestly. Nope, I don't know either. Ooh, Meaty, trying to bait him to do something. That was it. He got him to fall into the trap, and he popped burst attack, and it worked out. Man, Mutator is adapting super well after that first game. 
Yeah, he, he's so ready in all situations to just understand like the options. Like the fact that he did 6x in support text, just knowing exactly what the potential uh, responses were there from tech. So yeah, smart. That's true. Ooh. Ooh, that was there a quick. Heck of a challenge. Another Whoa. hard read. That, that was a super hard read. Dashing yes. forward into the grab. All right, setting up a pillar. I don't. He's like That's zigzagging behind it. Get rid of it. Trying to go back to the staples. Try to stay safe. Oh, nice dashing in and out to avoid all these traps. All these staples. Triple block. No. Oh. Oh, oh weird. So weird. Getting trapped here in the corner. Oh, he's challenging so much. This is actually really scary. He's gonna take chip, the teacher. Yeah. Look at this chip. Oh, oh, so much. That was like 50 HP. Builds it right back. Froggy. Did that hit? That might whip. No, no, he's no. Able to but block. it might be punished. Oh no. Okay, no, okay. No. It, got, it did I... technically get punished, but not fully. Yeah, not quite. Okay, Tech gets what he wants. A space shift. He's just dashing in. He's, oh, oh, he jumped through a light. That, yeah, was, that a was a crazy light. risk. He did not have an attack buff. All right, I don't think it's gonna be no, enough. No, it's not gonna be enough. Not gonna be enough. All right, he still has Patchy. I don't know if that's, mm, this might be risky. Yeah, I was gonna say, it was too close there to call Patrizio the recovery there. Yeah, he, uh, I mean, the recovery on Patrizio is really fast, but, it that, is, but that, that was so mean. Yeah, that forward Y was super preemptive. Yeah, three out of five. Okay, yeah, we're getting the confirmation. So two, one, quick, quick two games there from Mutator, actually. Yeah, after that super dominant game from Tech. Yeah, so we're gonna have to see, I really do wanna see Tech make the necessary adaptations here. Uh, especially defensively, because I feel like aggressively he knows what he wants to do mm -hmm. offensively towards Mutator to make him scared of his options. But defensively right now he's getting caught in a lot of situations back up against the corner. Yeah, one big thing here is that in field he's trying to challenge a lot in situations just like that yeah. where he technically doesn't have an advantage. Nope. And uh, that's really just the most ah, terrifying thing in the world man. against Shadow Me 2. All right, you know, we could see a really aggressive burst here because it'd be very easy for him to get a second one. That's true. Oh. Wow. No fear there on these throws. Oh, he could have gone for another one, actually. He tried to stuff that. That's going to be a lot of damage, it actually. Is. Yep, okay. Go for the reset. Yeah, considering he had no swords, that's Ooh. like the maximum damage you're getting again. He's making that read. Yes, indeed. All right, Pop and Burst against the wall. Patchy early. I don't know if that Patchy right there is the best choice. It might not work out very well. It essentially just gave him time to go in with some physical options. And Patchy has gone. Ah, uh, that's going to be it. I don't know. Is it? He's not no, a burst. 27 not HP. Okay. But, uh, okay, you get to set something up. You got Frogadier. He's going to get to... Oh this no! Is so hard to deal with. Okay, so oh. Oh. that is just a really tough situation because the second stream of frogs still hadn't come out yet. Yeah, yeah. That's really rough. It's like, do you really need more setup projectiles you don't. in fields with Shadow Mewtwo? I mean, like, come Frogadier on, man. with Shadow Mewtwo should probably be banned. I agree. <laughs> or you know, really, Mutator should be banned. Yeah, Mutator. Whoa! He landed over the staples. Yeah, with the flamethrower. So. Super smart. Yeah, Tech is having a rough time just finding his footing, really. Just oh. overall, his footing is just seems, feels completely lost to me. He's got to figure it out. It's because you, you got to float. You don't you don't have footing with That's true. How, how do you find the ground? <laughs> when you get knocked down. Okay, okay. All, right, all right, all right. This is where he has to build some momentum for himself. He hasn't been able to do so yet. Yeah, ooh, uh, that counterattack. Uh, maybe you can see it as he threw that with scissor, but I don't know. He, it didn't work out. He's got a burst, in my opinion. Just to get something started, like, he's just... Got anything started. Yeah, look at this. The perfect challenges for Mutator. Yeah. He still hasn't popped first. Okay, he's going to get a lot of damage, though. All right. Yeah, he's pretty much going to be forced to at this point. This isn't a terrible situation, actually, for Tech. He he wanted to at least have the burst versus he got first hit? matchup. Oh, wow. No burst yet from Mutator. Oh, the wow. setup. Oh! So cheap. Five HP. He's lived every time from that throw. He's still got burst. He's got like half his burst. Oh, no. Then I punish it, and it will. What kind Man. of preemptive forward uh, A was I, that? I was really hoping that he was going to wait for Mutator to do something and punish a burst attack, not a uh, call support, but yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. Uh, rough Mut times. Mutator just uh, just adapting so Steam strongly. Steam rolled those yeah, last yeah, yeah, three yeah. games. Wow, that was rough for Tech. But you know what? I expect to see Tech rise through loser's bracket. He's definitely going to make it tough for whoever he goes up against in losers and going to try to get his run back against Tater. I agree with what you were saying. Um, I think that his offense was really good, yes. and that's why he won the first game so strong. Because he started his offense, and he kept it going, and it just ran over yep. uh, Mutator. Yes. Which is crazy to say, because nobody runs over Mutator. Not usually. But uh, once he was put on the back foot, he was, like I said, he was trying to challenge a lot. You yeah. know? He was trying to see it as he threw a lot of stuff. But that's just not an option against Shadow Mewtwo, it's, especially it's if the Shadow Mewtwo is super on point with setups, like Mutator is more than most, you more know? More than most, 100%, yes. Yeah, I would have I liked to have seen him just try to 
push his way out of the corner a little bit and challenge Mutator in the mid-range a little more because his back kept getting to the wall yeah. in field and in duel, and he had to force the mix-ups, or he had to eat the mix-ups every time. I would have also just liked to see maybe a few more just normal strike mix-ups, like yeah. uh, just going for like, uh, like, Dash Y, whatever, whatever his uh, hover, hover Y, I think yes. it's called. Yeah, um, I would have definitely have liked to see any of those just, options. Yeah, just some like slightly safer, cleaner options because I mean, you know, you, if you get countered by Shadow Me Two, whatever, you're not getting a combo, right? You're like, you're you're you've got a lot of life. Just go for some safe mix-ups just to just to check Mutator, put him back into like normal mode. But 100%. we're gonna see more of both those players later, so uh, we are we gonna will. see the. Losers semifinals, the winner of Kmon and Marks is going to go up against Tech. Yeah, these matches are going quick. They Man, are going super quick. I want to see some series back and forth though now. After, the, after like the three out of the three out of five three v three at Worlds, it's like everything seems quick. Right, these I know. Especially. That's true. That is a hundred percent true. That felt like a two out of three match. That last yeah, game, it right? really did. Yeah, that for, the three v three format definitely took a long time. Yeah. But here we go. All right, so this was the matchup that Marks just had to play in his previous match. Yeah. But like you said earlier, very, very different Dark Rye than Rubs. 100%. And we did see the most success when Rubs tried to play super aggressively at the start. And we are seeing the aggression already, and that's, oh no! Oh, no, not quite converting in time, but taking the grab. Big damage in field. Into Bad Dreams Rising. This is a very little, uh, a very short dual area right here. You see, there's not yeah. a lot of uh, area to go. You're On in the, the edge of the corner. screen here. Yeah. Oh, got him at the very up. last hit. Oh, he tried to go for a tree meter too far. Oh, oh backwards and behind the him. That's it. That, that is, is definitely it. Sure. it. And that's going to be oh. a perfect for round number one. Yeah. You you have to be careful with those counters, especially against Bad Dream Rising, Darkrai, who has the ability to dash through opponents. Yeah, I mean, you have to be careful with everything. 100%. You can't really overcommit against Bad Dream Rising. Yeah, either. I mean, honestly, you, you have to make a hard read. That was you the do. hard read. It's fine, it you just, know? Yeah. It, it just happens. Like, you can't look at it and be like, oh, my God, I can't do anything. you got to be like, okay, I made the wrong read. Next time. Okay, so interesting support choice here we see from Kmon with Lapras. So I want to see how that comes into play. Probably going to allow him to set up at least a little bit. Oh, we got over Lapras. Speaking of Lapras, we just talked about that. Ooh, all right. You're baiting the throw. Marks is sticking to his game plan of trying to get into the mind of Kmon with these throws, but Kmon has been successful in getting around all of them thus far. Unlike Rubs, uh, we saw earlier, had a little bit of struggle later on with the, dealing with Marks' throws. Oh, man, yeah. Marks hasn't really been able to start anything. Oh, Dark right. Pulse so much. And again, another oh. throwbacks. SoCal special. Kmon's not even from there. What? <laughs> okay. Nice. Yeah, very, very different games than when we saw uh, Rubs playing. And I mean, in a way, it was very different. But in a way, it was not. Uh, the the, uh, all, the offense that really was like, it was an oppressive offense. I guess yes. that's the way you could put it. Was really the controlling factor. Yes. Uh, because you just can't let Aegis Slash go in this matchup. Like, I mean, you can't at all. Once he starts, the risk reward is just so high in his favor. I mean, trying to get the momentum back against Aegis Slash uh, with his extremely strong pokes, his shield stance options. I mean, good luck. <laughs> if you take yes. the hit, it's uh, tons of damage off any conversion almost. Uh, but I really want to see a slowdown in pacing. As weird as that is to say, I, I want to see this pacing slow down so we see some more back and forth. I and mean, some, I want to see some more adaptation. Yeah, from these me too. Th these matches are all so fast. Nobody's chilling, man. Nobody's exactly. like just sitting there. Oh, nice patient. evasion though on the flash cannon. Yeah, you can tell a, a lot of matchup knowledge. Oh, Patrice, okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he just I watched them all disappear. We got the wall splat and the knockdown. This is huge for Marks. Oh, Snipey's going to get rid of that. But shield stance Whoa! outlasting all of that into I the I did not know you could actually challenge that. I didn't know either. And now Marks is looking great. Oh, tries to go with the homing. Nasty plot, though. Oh, and this is how it all begins. Indeed. OK, challenging him. Oh, four Y. Oh, that could be it. It should be indeed. All right, so here we go. Getting some back and forth now. Mark's on the board. All right, good. This is exactly what Mark's needs. You know, he needed to just kind of stop the momentum. Yeah, this is what happened against Rubs, too. So I don't know if it's going to look quite as strong as it did against Rubs. Can you avoid that? No. No, no. Nice, nice punish and a great setup. Taking huge advantage. I like it. Going for the unblockable. <laughs> he tried. Cheesy, but a great choice. Magic Carp could actually help him out because if Darkrai lands a hit, uh, Mark's could get a knockdown from it. The T. Okay, gating a lot of what Darkrai wants to do here. But Kmon still sitting on a, a little bit of a lead. 
So he's just going to play back. No need to really... Oh, v yeah. create. You see, that right there is one of the biggest reasons why we've seen these Dark Rise be so offensive in field, yeah. is that, that forward Y and then the lasers. There's just so many different options that the uh, Age Slash player can use in field to challenge these traps. Oh, that's a full combo. Mm. No buff, though, so yeah, not no huge. Buffs. He's just going to take the knockdown. I like that. Oh, and the, the meaty chip from yeah. the lasers. Super smart. Oh, a little far away. Oh, that's a hit. Get the setup. So now he can cancel. Nice oh, no. counter there. A little overly aggressive from Kmon. He could have done like jabs into uh, like triggering the trap. Yeah, I like Marks' spacing. You can tell he's spacing himself a lot better now. Yeah, you, he actually did slow it down. Yeah, which is good. That's what yeah. I wanted to see. Oh, wow. Tricky trap. Uh, you never even see that trap. No, you don't. But Kmon knows this character inside and out, makes use of all his tools. Oh! Stuffing him out at first with a grab. So right, nice. That's actually huge. There's only eight seconds left. Yeah. Life lead barely for Ooh, Kmon. Now shit. more so. Oh, and that that's going to be it. He said, I know you're going to go in. All right. Big challenge there from Kmon. He knew. Yeah, I mean, honestly, even though he, he was a great read, it was a super safe option because yeah. it's totally safe and frame one invincible when you're in Bad Dreams Rising. So. Yes, and I think Marks might have forgot about in that moment because his mentality might have been, oh, I'm going to try to stuff it. Uh, stuff burst right yeah. here. Uh, honestly, it's hard though, to say, like, but it, you know, what can possible. you even do there, right? No, you you have to try something. Yeah, no, I agree, 100%. Oh, right. no, and this is another really tough start, and this is match point for Kmon. Kmon has been doing so well getting the Bad Dreams Rising so often. Pokemon. Okay, just keeping him in check here in the mid range. Okay, flash Cannon up close. Not going to work out. Oh, no, this is going to be, of course, the usual setup, I'm sure. Yep. Oh, no. No, interesting. Yeah, that was really weird. I don't know what it was. Might have been a misinput. I'm not sure. Maybe. It looks like it because yeah. he didn't really go for anything not, right not, there. No, nothing at all. Yeah. Wow. Kmon spacing. Really comfortable. That was going to be oh, a whiff on it. Very nice. clean. I don't think he's going to cash out here. I think he's still no, going for the reset. Oh, that's what he was trying yeah, to do. I see. I see. He, he just, uh, he like maybe let it go when he was doing something or Ooh, okay, didn't have the charge. Okay, back Snivy. Can pop Magikarp here. Force came on to think a little bit about his attacks here. Oh, a lot of whiffs wow. going on. This mobility is so good right now for it Kmon. It is. And there's, it, we're going out of time again. 15 seconds left. Ooh, oh, no. Nice challenge with the dust Oh, frame. that's so like much all of his life. He's got an attack buff and a speed oh, buff now. This is terrible for Kmon. There's burst on the Ooh. side of Marks. He Seven can use it defensively. How do you even get this perfect damage lock? back? No, no perfect lock. Yeah. Oh, nice patience there. Even more chips. So now even Hang a on. throw might not be enough. I don't know what you do here. Whoa, oh, that's going to be enough. I don't know. Wait. No, it's not. It's not. Wait. It's not. He burst it. He yeah, burst it. Gonna be enough. He's got the life lead. Oh. That is going to be enough. Came on. Oh my God. What? Came on. That was such a huge comeback. That was, a, that was ridiculous. It was, I mean, it wasn't even necessarily the life that was huge. He, it was crazy. And I feel so bad because. Honestly, oh all that Marks had to do was goodness. block. If he got thrown, it wouldn't have put him low enough that the burst I heal don't would have given him the life that, lead. I but don't think yeah, he, he got that. hit by the dark only pulse. thing that was going to be enough damage. It was it was homing into charge dark pulse, right? Oh my gosh, yes. We're homing into yeah, Some, yes, four, four, four stock dark what pulse. Happened, yeah. Oh my wow. goodness, so much damage. And he still had burst to give him the for sure lead. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I mean, great great play wow. for Marks, but. Came it was just down to that happy. final moment. Everybody cheering came on on, but you know he—that's that, good for him because he's—he's got to move immediately into losers finals, immediately, right? Immediately, yes. So we are starting top three. Everybody wow. tweeted out. I'm going to tweet it out right now. Yes, 100. percent I can actually show my phone on camera. This is great. I, I um, will retweet you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, came on is building so much momentum for himself right now. I honestly think that he definitely has the ability to beat Tech here, but Tech. I know wants to get his run back on Mutator after that uh, sort of disappointing uh, three games that Mutator had um, uh, for Tech to fight against him, uh, where he just struggled uh, after that first game where he looked super strong. So we'll see how this goes. Can Kmon keep the momentum going? Tech's had to sit to the side for a while, so not sure what's going to happen here. So do you know who knocked Kmon into losers? Um, I believe it was Mutator, actually. Okay, so yes. Mutator is he sitting... Sitting in a good spot here, uh, yes. 
run back has already beaten both of these players. True, but and, uh, I, I did hear it was pretty close between Mutator and K1 Ooh, winners. Okay, that would be a great match to see, but either of these would be a great match to see, and that means that these players haven't played each other yet in bracket, of course. Yes. So uh, one of these two gets to get their rematch, but only one of them, and now we are in losers' final, so it is going to be three out of yeah. five. I'm thinking they may have experience against each other, but mainly from the online environment. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be interesting to see how this goes in a third place match here to see how this pans out. Third place match. That's a sad way to put that. But it uh, is. But let's let's is say the, the match to get in the grand finals. It's the match how to get in the that? grand finals. That's a positive it is, it is. I like the optimism from Wonder It's the Trap. synergy gauge half full. <laughs> yes, that's true. <laughs> Very good. All right. I so like they are starting, I think. Uh, they're wait, talking they to each other. Like they're there for a second. Hold yeah, on. Yeah. One second, guys. Nope, uh, we are not ready to start. This is no, that's that's super high level footsies. You've never seen this before. <laughs> oh, I see. Just just wait to see what the other person. Yeah, you yeah. do something you, first. You whiff punish them with the <laughs> quit the game. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. nice. And, and then you win. <laughs> that's smart stuff. No, uh, honestly, <laughs> uh, almost definitely what happened is so you can you can go through the menus and you can choose your own your characters and your supports and stuff, but. Once you get into game, if you have the wrong controller selected, like oh. a pro controller, then suddenly you can't control, right? Yeah, I think that's so what's happening. So they're, uh, they're saying that they need Marks, Marks to yeah. uh, desync his, his, his pro, pro controller. controller yeah. okay. But uh, you don't actually need to, I don't think. No, I don't think. You just go to select battle controller. Yeah, and then we you should be it. good now. Yeah, they, they figured out. Let's see. All right, here we go. All right, so the Ooh. matchup we expected, of course. Not. Uh, I don't think we're going to see any, any weird matchups yeah. the rest of this tournament. I hope I get proven wrong. Well, we'll have to see what hap ends up happening here. All right, so Scizor against Darkrai. I'm not sure how this matchup truly goes. I've heard that Kmon actually is not a huge fan of Scizor, a uh. fighting Scizor. So we're going to have to see how this pans out. This is a matchup I saw a lot right when DX came out. Yeah. Everybody's like, yo, these characters are dope. But, but then these were two of the new characters. So. Yep. Ooh, okay, trying to get him with that side Y, charge side Y. Yeah, look at this. Good mobility so far. and. The ability to challenge and feel is there. I love this usage of, uh, I guess, forward A with the sword. Nice. Ooh, oh, the spacing there. Look at that. Starkles. He walked all the way I around know. the staples so and good. back X. That's Game on dope. with the recognition here. He knows his environment <laughs> well. He's using a Molga against uh, Tech, probably to catch the counters. And it's working out well. And it's going to slow him down, which makes it so much harder to fight Darkrai when you're slow. But but his... his, uh, his Hover speed, his dash speed, is not affected by speed debuff. That's so true. Good if point, anybody good point. can be speed up, debuffed, it's, it's uh, a scissor for yeah. sure, yeah. Okay, patchy again, but it hasn't really panned out yet. 39 HP, this is going to be rough. Yeah. The, the big advantage here is that he does have rage. Yeah, he does. Or Nowhere guts. near his burst, though, yet. 18 seconds. Oh, oh wow. Okay, actually, it could be worse. Uh, he's going to get back into field, which oh. also could be better. <laughs> the teeth. Biden him up. Always for the teeth. Yes. <laughs> Man, feeling hungry today is came on trying when, to get this win. When you have nightmares where you're like your your teeth fall out, you know, uh, <laughs> those teeth in the nightmares turn into the teeth that Darkrai creates. Oh right? my goodness. That's where they, they end up. <laughs> yes, indeed. I can totally see. <laughs> all right, trying to test him here with all these projectiles. You know, I like how TAC is just trying to build meter for himself at this point. He's like, I can absorb all this, except that. But yeah. he has a full burst <laughs> meter now. He was normal. Let's accept that. Yeah, accept that. It accept happens. that. That's going to put him into Bad Genius Rising. Yeah, there's always the exceptions. All right, 2x, one of the best posts that uh, came on hands in that game, but going to get blown up. All right, just going for the basketball combos. I love the basketball combos. Easy okay. peasy. Side Y checks. Oh. Look at that. He's, he's just he's like, this is my corner. I'm not leaving this corner. And it's working out super well thus far for Kmon. He has, he's sitting on a full bar and Emolga, whereas Tech is also sitting on the same, but can't get anything started. Mm, but manages to win the situation. So I feel like we have to see uh, Tech with a defensive burst We're at some point in this phase, probably. But he's going to maybe try to land one more hit. Yeah, he's, he he's got some time, for sure. 17 seconds on the clock. See what he makes use of it. All right, he's, he's just wasting a little more time. Okay. Ooh, that oh, was there big. we go. That was so big. he's going to take the life lead off of this for sure. Nice. Getting the extra wall damage, okay. only five seconds left. Now we could see a burst just to guarantee himself closing he out might this round. Not need to. Let's see. Hold on. Yeah, that's true. Very nice. He's not going to need to. It looks yeah, like. Yeah, nothing's going to be even possible at that point. Okay, that was the ideal circumstance for uh, Tech to win under those conditions. Now he goes to the next round with a full burst meter still, but so does Kmon. 
Yeah, that was a uh, another really big risk that paid off really well. We saw him do that uh, the exact same way against Rubs, where he was like, you know what, your badge is rising. I don't really care. I'm going to save my burst. Yeah. This is true. But it's a huge Ooh, payoff. Weird Whoa. hit, but it still makes converts off of it. Yeah. It's all topsy turvy. Oh, again, the whiff punishes from Tech on these two X attempts from Kmon not working out. Setting up the staples. I really want to like set that name up as the easy button. It makes sense, right? Yeah, I think that would be. I correct. think it's perfect, and nobody really appreciates that. I no, I, I appreciate it. All right, thank you. <laughs> yes. All right. So still sitting, both characters, both players still sitting on their bars. He's gonna side dash to avoid nice. him. Oh god, very nice. Whoa! Did he Ooh. just side dash between them? The this evasion right now from both players is so strong. Okay. Thread the needle. So Tech is like taking his time, but he might need a burst here. Oh, this is a lot of damage Whoa. actually to take before he bursts. It is. I yeah, mean, Badger but it, it might be just enough that he's able to stay within rage, possibly. Yeah. Still has not used burst. Oh, yet. this is really scary to not use burst. Twenty-four seconds. Yet. I don't know about this. Okay, he got came on to use burst. Oh, uh, he. You, uh, wow. Oh he didn't no! Use burst. I was about to say you he gotta. He had to have tried. Yeah, I yeah. know. I looked like. Him pressing the triggers there right at the end as he got killed. So that is super unfortunate. He didn't get to use his burst after all that time where he was trying to build to that one moment where he popped burst and he didn't get that opportunity. Yeah, yeah. That was, yeah. Uh, I mean, he was trying to play reserved and it paid off for him really well in the first or second game, I guess. Yes. Uh, but this time around, yeah. I mean, you never want to go down with a full, no. full synergy. That is the worst feeling in any game. Yeah. It's just like any kind of reversal bar going down with it and not able to utilize it. So in this game especially, for sure, that uh, came probably was a big disappointment there to Tech. Yeah, now uh, we'll see if he can go through without getting tilted by it. I mean, this is, of course, three out of five is his lose finals. He does seem like a very composed player. I don't see him really getting tilted very often. Yeah. So we'll see how this pans out. All right, trying to go with that uh, charge side Y. Ooh, getting around the ropes. Oh, maybe he could have whiff punished it. That was an interesting Wait, choice right there. Came on, was came on? Came on switch supports? Wait. Yeah, yeah, he's got Mimikyu Rayquaza now. Oh, wow. Interesting, okay. Yeah, uh, so that's a really great punish on, like, charge counters, obviously. Yes. All right, so already in Nightmare. Oh, man. Oh, trying to go Do it now. Do it now. Oh, no, it doesn't matter. 6X is going to be a smart choice, too. He knows, of course, what he Tech is trying to figure out how to get started against Kamon here. There it is. There it is. Beautiful. Punish. There's no way to stop no. this damage. Look it's at his so life. Fast. It's going down to one. Oh, it's down to 33. It was a lot of damage. I was wrong. A lot of damage. Yeah. I know. I know. You're, you are correct. Oh, wow. wow. Kamon, Who needs footsies? Yeah, his spacing <laughs> is just pristine right now. Yeah, Tech's okay. really got to... Uh, mi I feel like he's got to mimic that first game. Speaking of mimic, we got mimic you now, Jack. But he really does have to because he was playing a good game plan. I felt like in the first game, he just didn't get to make use of his burst. Yeah, I'm so I'm interested to see how Kimon uses mimic you. We've seen mimic you a lot, especially from Japanese players. Yeah. Uh, you use both, you know, defensively and offensively. But I don't know what the best Ooh. choice here is with Darkrai. I mean, it is going to be really nice, like maybe as a burst anti-burst option. Yes, I think that's probably what he's going for. We saw a lot of the Japanese players at World actually use yeah, that yeah. a lot. Okay. okay, here we go. He's going to use it early. Double debuffs already on oh. <laughs> I think he actually could have got a little bit more off that, but he wasn't sure that it was going to punish, so he yes. went for the guaranteed block string into it, which is oh also man. really smart. Tech's going to have to burst. I mean, I, there, what, where is the option? Okay, he gets a hit. So he's still trying to capitalize off as much damage yeah. as he can. So actually, the, uh, I was pretty Ooh, smart not to burst right nice. there because he had the double debuffs from the Mimikyu. True, 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 true. You actually do less damage in burst. That's a good point. That is a good point. Oh, another grab. Okay, so this is big for Tech. He's looking good on this round before he has even used burst. And he's almost up to building Patrisu. Patrisu a fast charging his court. Yeah, Mimikyu. Getting close. Might oh, come back up this oh might no, around, that though. is it, I think. Yeah, what wow. Was, was that just a setup? I, I find it very hard to believe that he wasn't going to be able to do nine damage at the end of that. With yeah, homing, that homing. was weird. But, but uh, Tech, it works. again, not getting two bursts. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. This is two straight uh, games without Tech using bursts. At that point, you, just gotta, you should just use it aggressively. You know, I, just like, I think you have to at this point. You have to go in like you build that burst meter, right? You're absorbing all those hits in uh, in field phase, especially uh, with, with uh, counterattack yeah. to build the meter. Pop it early so you have a chance to get it back again. Right, I right. think that's what he has to go for. Now. The entire time that you stick holding on to your uh, synergy, it hasn't been pan it hasn't pounded out. It's not building. Basically. Yeah, not, not once yet has it panned out. 
And look, fast charging. Remember when Rayquaza used to be slow? Slow charging sport? No, I don't actually. Yeah, at I the never very used it back then. At the very beginning, it was a slow charging sport, and the early now it's patch, the fastest in the yeah, game. It's the fastest in the game, and he already has it. <laughs> but you only get to use it once. That's true. So that is the the downside. All right. Nice. Catching nice. the nasty fly. He did this last game, but it still wasn't the make or break. Oh, he mm. he could actually jump over that. this. Yeah, yeah. This, but you, I don't know if he can get a punish. Okay. He, he, yes, he oh. can. That was a punish. Nice. Very I, nice. I was gonna say you can't like jump X with him to get a punish. Right. So what do you do? It's like just oh yeah. Neutral jump into a punish. <laughs> that yeah. worked. Oh, he got the right. Oh, right just the spacing, just slightly yeah, off. Very slightly. But a lot of damage already for Kmon. Or Kmon took a lot of damage already. And honestly, a lot of meter. Just these these normal fireballs in uh, in duel. Once you're in Bad Dreams Rising, it's super Ooh, hard. Look for at all this. Oh, that okay. This is the conversion. We've seen Tech fight out of Bad Dreams Rising so many times. We have, and this is his best looking round thus far, I want to say. Uh, just much cleaner. Oh, this time Kmon was ready for that throw attempt. Look at that, look at that life swing. I mean, that was literally half his life. But there's 10 More seconds left, what do you do? Command grab? Oh, no. no! Oh, that's enough, that's this, enough! This is gonna be enough. It, I, oh! Wait, 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 okay, wait, okay, guarantee chip, wow. Did he try to burst it? I don't know. Did he, he had okay, to try Okay, honestly, to he had tech, to to it's like tech just hasn't burst it. It's like he's trying to win without burst. Uh, there's no way, I mean, what uh, What was the other option? He had to have tried to burst, right? Yeah, I don't know. Burst is basically an auto win And right he there. missed it. I think that has to be what happened. I don't know. Oh my gosh, this is rough to watch. Yeah, just, just use it, just burst. Just burst now, I don't care. I just want to see it. I agree. Look, like, look, you got to get out of this phase. I don't understand. As confident as you are against Bad Dreams Rising, you're, you've got a life deficit. And it's that's match catch, point came right? on. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. He's doing something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. I didn't see what he did. Like, how do you not use it at this point? Uh, you got it. Okay, okay, okay. There Thank we go. You. First burst of the set. Maybe second. Oh my gosh. Seriously, please, Tech. And look at this. Look at this. Okay, Great this conversion. Is, this, all right. He's going to steal both, both buff. the buffs. Oh, my God. Okay, now he's Dude. like one hit. I would just go up and I would just burst. I don't even care at this okay, point. Okay, came on just burst. Tech. <laughs> yeah, see, came on. I like that use of burst. Oh. There. Got two. Got rid of a lot of projectiles. Okay. But he's out of burst now. This yep. is huge. And came both on, the buffs almost are out of burst, too, but oh, my gosh. Yeah. Oh, this is bad. Oh, beautiful rising again. Oh my gosh, how is Tech gonna win this right now? Uh, I don't know. I mean, we've seen a fight out of it before, yeah, but, but this is so hard. It point. is. He's nice. gonna be able to absorb. Oh, the spacing was off. That's it. Three. Oh, came on. Yeah. I mean, it was it was really close, but I mean, I feel like we don't even talk about it anymore. But I mean, wow. Tech just wasn't using burst. No. Like, I want to say, I was going to say he wasn't using Burst effectively, but I mean, you could just kind of end the sentence at Burst. Is it just me, or is this one of the strangest, like, top finals of Pokémon we've seen all year? Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of weird stuff going on I here. I mean, there's, uh, like, I just feel like I want to see a more back and forth. We did get that from Tech, but he didn't capitalize to winning a game. I, I felt know. like there were so many games he could have won. I know. The I salt is real. Every I damn day showing us. Every... Is that what that means? That's not salt. What are you talking about? I don't know. It looked like salt for a That's second. That's rubs? I'm sorry. Show, I'm show sorry. The, you it, looked show like a salt, it looked like a salt shaker for a second. I only glanced at it. That is definitely not, not salt, Not a salt shaker. You're right. It's uh, It might be the cure to salt, though. I'm not sure. Yes, not it might sure. be that. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, he said that's rubs after the stream. And just like that, we are in grand final. What? We are in Grand Finals. What happened this to is, the other matches? This has been the fastest turn. We can just run another bracket after this, right? Let's, let's go ahead and do that. We have, yeah. time we have enough time, yeah. 100%. How much time are we slotted for Pokin? Uh, Too much time, right? We will, we will run exhibition matches. <laughs> Kiyobi's like, we have too much time. <laughs> I'm actually having them check. All right, yeah, this is crazy, right? I mean, what has happened? Uh, I don't know, man. This has been a lot of. I mean, there's been no matches that have come down like to the wire, right? Uh, this final. Or maybe in the first ones, but yeah, it's been a lot of like really good adaptation. It's interesting though. We, we've seen only one super dominant game, right? A lot of the others, it was like, for instance, like Rubs did super well and then lost, and then yes. we saw Tech do super well and then lose, and then. Oh my god. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's so weird. I don't understand. Like, what what was in the water here? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> man, um, just some like. Crazy differences in how Kmon is playing versus everybody else and Mutator, how he's playing versus everybody else. These are the two players that have looked the strongest thus far. Marks had a very strong performance early against Rubs, but 
Yeah, other than that, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it was still a really strong performance in the losers' finals match, but true, true. Just some some weird like easy flops, right? Yeah, definitely. All right, uh, here we go. Grand what? finals. This is where we could see a lot of back and forth potentially, though. Definitely. You said this might have been a, a really close match earlier. In the win of course, winners, yeah. I wasn't able to see it because I was at work. But big start here for Mutator, going for the reset in dual phase, not wanting to phase shift him, catching him right out of the nasty plot attempt. All right, this is big. Came on sticking to that Rayquaza pick against Mutator. Interesting. Yeah, what do you think against Shadow Mutator? I don't know about off? that. I maybe mean, he's trying to hit him out of pillar, maybe? Wow, what he's do able you think? to <laughs> save from that. Uh, I don't know, honestly. That's it's, the uh, main it's a thing tough I choice. could think of. It's just to like, yeah, just hit him out of pillar. You see him start pillar up, and then you Get try that to punish it. down, yeah. Yeah, maybe. Give you There's, a chance to set up. There are know. a few things that you could potentially react to, but I, I would be more surprised if we didn't see Mimic you every single time sure. that he has a charge. I'm not sure which share he chose, but I'm assuming it's one of them where uh, he doesn't always give him sure, sure. All right, both of them popping burst early. Burst to burst. Oh, he That's might punishable. Be able to get around this, That's right? super punishable. Let's see. Yeah, just with raw burst to punish him. So there's three ways to but punish But it that. was too far to oh. get the cinematic. Okay, still though. So I think the best way to punish that is if you time it right, you can actually teleport through it, I believe, yeah. with Shadow Probably that would be Or the best you can way. jump over you it, which is easy. You can jump over That's it. the easy peasy yes, one, right? I learned that very early on, actually. Oh, trying to slide in, but with it. Whoa, going the wrong way. All right, all right. Dark Riot with his confusion tech on deck. Oh, getting around him. Okay. Oh, oh, wall splat for big damage. Reset time. Respect my options. He says, don't jump. Oh, Earth wow. Break. I can't believe he was actually able to block that. It's so hard to punish Ooh, that. Oh, big Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball beating the. Look, look how much recoverable life actually both characters have. Yeah, and Mutator building back very little bit of it. Okay, gotta respect his options here. Jumping over it. Wow. Very nice. He read that Dark Pulse, and he jumped right over it with the Flamethrower conversion. Woo. Came on acknowledging. He's like, all right, I was, see you. It was a good call, but Mutator was super ready for that option. I like Nightshade with the hand yeah, raises. I don't know what he's doing. He's doing the hand raises. But he's doing his exercises. What is the hand raise? Yeah, that's what it is. It's an exercise. Uh, same thing with Forrest. She's doing her uh, daily exercises. Yeah, they gotta they gotta stay limber yep. to uh, try to mix this up with their weird mix up characters. Very nice. <laughs> all right, I think we're gonna see a support change almost definitely. I hope so, but I don't know. I'm about to find out. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't see either, honestly. Yes. All right, so we have the carp and He's going far fetch. fetch. Okay. okay. Yeah, I could see this working a little bit better. Definitely going to put him in check in the mid range, at least, to where if uh, Mutator tries to challenge a lot of his setups that he could let far fetch go, potentially. No, oh, and this is a pretty decent setup. The corner position could have been a little bit, a little bit closer for that charge back X, but. Yes. Okay, blocking, staying patient here in field. Oh, getting hit by the thunder. Yeah, uh, one of the best dashes, the best field dash in the game, coming yes. out of uh, Dark Ride, but doesn't matter when you got Jack and Thunder. Popping burst right now. See, Mutator using his burst very offensively. <laughs> out. So, I believe that the height properties on Shadow Mewtwo's jab actually change once he goes into burst. Oh, okay, wow. And they're way better at anti air. Yeah, that looks like it hits super high up as well. Yeah. All right, down to about 84 HP here. The scary thing is there's actually still a pretty decent amount of burst, so we're going to see some... Oh, the mirrors. Oh. And he was able to get around the mirrors. Oh, very nice. That's one of the only options that you have to stand still yeah, and actually Yeah, that was that so well. nice from came out to recognize that, but he had to go for it. Wow. Try to get around the vortex, not able to escape the vortex. It hits all around him, 360 degrees. What kind of Put your hands in the air like you just don't care. What? Honestly, what, what kind of big brain read was that, <laughs> man? Mutator's oh wild. Gosh. Crazy wild stuff. All right, Bad Dream's rising early. Yeah. This is where Kamon could definitely get started, but Magikarp can nice slow him down a little bit, potentially. Yeah, that Magikarp's going to be really nice to get out of this Bad Dream's Ooh, rising. Okay, nice, nice. nice to ball there. Oh, okay, Magikarp set off already, though. Yeah, using the uh, burst activation. Farfetch'd not going to hit. Oh, yeah, it did. Oh. I thought he almost got around that. Yeah, me too, but no conversion. Well, this this so much could damage. be enough. Not quite. No, he, he, I think he got oh, on the okay. reset. Yeah, okay, he's going to hit it anyway. Yeah. All right, so good round there from Kamon. So now he's a little bit on the board. See if he can take a game here. Get yeah, I mean, he uh, he just went into Bad Dreams Rising and literally just won with that Bad Dreams Rising, which 100%. is the goal always. Yes, indeed. I mean, well, in, unless you're trying to win just in field. True, true. Oh, just waiting for that nasty plot, getting him to use it. Taking him immediately back to field. Shadow Me 2, one of the only characters that doesn't really need to be that afraid of Dark Riot Field. Yes, that's true. 
Okay, getting the hit with Farfetch. This is where it's paying off to pick Farfetch. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a great tracking move that yes. uh, at the very least is going to give you like a nice mix up. All right, popping burst again. Oh, wow. Just fast work. forward burst. No fear. Came on, tried to stuff it, but uh, premature burst there from uh, Mutator worked out. This is one of the best things about Mutator's gameplay is that he, he really feels. Wow, that kill. I didn't think that was going to be enough. Wow, even Mutator even looks Mutator. surprised. Yeah. No, wait. Wait, was he saying yeah? Oh, no, he's, he's saying, saying yeah. of course. Mutator, turn <laughs> turn off turn off attack points. You're using skill points. <laughs> no, Put your kidding. hands in the air like you just don't care. What? Um, what? what was I gonna say? Yeah. So one of the best things about Mutator's gameplay is that he's really good at feeling out when people are trying to be slippery and sneak away from things, right? Yeah. So for instance, like that dash up burst, or uh, doing like earlier when we saw him do like six X into vortex to catch the forward dash through, 100%. different things like that. That's one of the moments that he figures out. The first time you do them, he might get caught. Yes. But every time after that, it, he, no. he knows when, you, yeah, when he you're trying to get away. 100% knows. The young man intuition and recognition is too strong. All right, Pachirisu switch. I really hope Kamon gets on the board here. I want to see some back and forth. But man, the momentum right now from Mutator is so strong. The momentum. The momentum. <laughs> I regret <laughs> saying that already. <laughs> Me too. I don't think I intended to, but <laughs> I just came out that way. Oh, he's just he's just walking Ooh, okay. in. No oh, fear. That was a whiff opportunity. Oh, oh nice that's gonna be big. Yeah, the huge damage from that dark pulse into that moon's rising. All right, not quite having burst yet. Those mutator two x. It was also very smart to do side homing there. Oh. He got himself a corner positioning, and all right, I don't think he can close that off of this Mutator's one. Mutator's probably gonna bot first here. The way that he does setups is so weird. I've almost never seen any. Oh, oh no, this is scary. The corner wow, conversion. Off that. Oh, the setup throw. Oh. Oh. oh my god, that is so hard to deal with. 12 HP. All right, so that's a chance. Yeah, good luck. Deal with the mix-ups. Wow, okay. Just yeah, going for a, a really hard Ooh, read right there. He, he's, he's still safe. Down to 1 HP, though. Yeah. Okay. Almost overkill the chip. Yeah, almost. All right. Patchy on deck. All right, mm. hop and burst, perfect block from Mutator. So good at those perfect blocks. No, Mutator staying super patient. Try to go for a grab. Wow. Oh, don't get anything back. off of that unless there's something set up already. Yes. OK, Mutator backing up with Match Card now. If, 13 seconds. If, does he even have enough HP for Match Card to I do anything? I don't think so. I don't think so. Any touch. I, I mean, like I think it, it drops right before oh the end. My oh, my gosh. Just checking. Just checking with oh the 6A. Oh, my gosh. Came on, please. I know, we, we need to see some crazy Came adaptation on, here. Please. Mutator is about, he's on tournament point right here to essentially just not lose. Yeah, he, yeah. I mean, as a commentator, I really do want to see more gameplay here. All right, Came on, getting into Bad Dreams Rising early. This is a good start. Match Carp already out. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, all right. That works out for Kmon big time. Dark oh, game. that works out even better. Yes. This burst is essentially gone at the it end is, of this. Yes. Okay. Okay. Oh, he's extending it <laughs> by staying in the air. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait, wait, where did he go? Where did he go? Where did he go? He did wow. barely get hit. But, but just a little one. Just yeah. a little one. Mm -hmm. He almost got a mix up without being able he to see the screen did. right there. Okay, gets around it. Had an opportunity for a whip on it potentially. Ooh, Ooh jump Y. Shades up. of old mutated with normal Mewtwo. Yes, that's true. Oh, try to go for a throw. Wow, what? the magic card knocked magic him down. Kind of saved. Oh, Came that's on, a lot actually. Of okay, mm, too much PSP, though. Okay. Oh, just oh wow. wow, just getting hit by a few things. Hi, you got a burst here. You yeah, got a burst. To. This is like two a more hits. Tally. One big one. I don't think it's He's enough, is dead. it? No. Okay, one more no, no, mix up, but no. it's going to be essentially one HP. What? 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 what just happened? What? The game just glitched. I I have n I have never the seen it happen. It doesn't to matter. It doesn't matter. One, what? pretty much one hit to one hit. Twenty one. Yeah. Oh, he's but just it, stop he's talking about it. Stop, we're about to finish the tournament. We can talk about it later. And he's gonna do it. Five Y. Wow. Three O. Mutator just he decided to try and speed run top six today. I mean, that was the fastest finals I have ever seen. This ever. may be, yeah, this may be a record ever. for how fast the top six today ever. was. What time is it? It's 12. This was 20. like this was like a one hour top six. Yeah, because yeah. we started a little after 11, right? Like 11. Yeah, like a, no, honestly, like 11:30. Really? Like, really? Yeah, no yeah. Way. We got like look 11 back 20. How long this I'm gonna say I want to know if this was under one hour. I think we may if have been it under was, one hour. That it's is close. ridiculously scary. Like I think there was. How many, like, 
how many two O's or three O's were there? There, uh, were, there were a couple wins I on mean, the other honestly, side, right? Honestly, only Redemption two. Wins. Only two. Oh, I there think. were only okay. I think I'm wow. pretty sure. Oh the my mutator god. Mutator is being picked up by Fosh. What a win again from Mutator. Super convincing. I mean, T's Tech was the only one that gave him really a challenge in the top six. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was it was great at first, but. I mean, Mutator, you know, like I said, his adaptation, it's so hard. Super there's strong. no, there's nothing you can do except for try to challenge Mutator head on, yeah. it seems like. And you know? Kmon just couldn't get that to work out. Enough. Yeah, I mean, I think that's a matchup that generally Dark Rise don't tend to like. Right. Uh, so we got to see exactly why, you know, I mean, generally when you're when you're Dark Rise and you're not like, I'm dominating field phase, then uh, it's scary. But True. still great to Kmon. We got yes. to see a lot of Dark Rise within this top 100%. five ish, essentially. Yeah, top five ish. Uh, so. I like the character diversity. This actually has to be one of, the, I think, the most diverse character top eights, top sixes. I don't know who else was in top eight, but top sixes uh, that we've seen. Uh, so what? We got Shadow Mewtwo. We have Darkrai, Scizor, Scizor uh, Weavile Aegis slash Darkrai, yeah, Aegislash, Aegis Slash, and then and Darkrai. Deep, right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so one one repeat in there, but overall still a lot of variety. Yeah, yeah. So well, one one and a half repeats since technically Ed did use. Uh, Dark Riot. You're right, you're One. right. He did do the yeah. mirror match. So it was 2.5 Dark Rise. Yes, very good. And uh, 0.5 Weaviles. No, yeah. we'll count them a Weavile. We'll count them a Weavile. Yeah, so, so, so sort of like a hangover from Worlds with all the Dark Rise yeah. we saw. So that's cool. Hey, so let, let me, can I interview Mutator? Yeah, 100%. He's walking over here for some reason. All right. Uh, Mutator, uh, we're going to have you talk to Chef. Okay. Yeah. So let's see what he thinks. Steal his money when he's distracted. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Mutator, howdy. Uh, you know you need to put on the, the headset or they can't hear you. <laughs> Hi again. It would be cool though if they just had to guess what you're saying. Congratulations, Swish Fest Two champion Mutator. How's uh how, how did you? Uh, okay, any thoughts about the tournament in general, right? Uh, it was pretty good. Like, honestly, okay. So the thing is, I ran into Kim on yesterday in pools. Yeah. Uh, or not pools, top 16, and I almost lost. I, I won by the skin of my teeth on a, based on a mistake he made. Hmm. He miscounted PSP and I just managed to scrape by. Ooh. So I was very nervous going into today. I was like, uh, I was very nervous going into today because I, I thought there was a like, 50 50 chance I was either going to have to see him in grand finals or tech. Right. And so I got Which there. Which was, was like literally the 50 50 at the end. But yeah. In yeah. Lose finals, yeah. Um, both of those players, I think, on different days could have, like, been, and been in grand finals or even taking the tournament. I was like super, they're, they're both great players. But yeah, seeing, based on like what happened yesterday, I thought today was gonna be a lot scarier. I thought uh -huh. there was like a very high chance of a reset at least, like I needed like a set. But yeah, I don't know, Shadow Mewtwo's cheap. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm still sad we didn't get to see a Shadow Mewtwo with, uh, with uh, Miss Magius. Dude, okay. It's happening, right? Soon, Eventually. soon. I'm working on right, it. Right. It's, it's a hard support to use, but I'm working on it. All right, all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go lab that the, the setups that you were doing. They're, those were nasty, but uh, so, I'm honestly, yeah. So I heard that the match was close with came on yesterday, and then Tech started off so strong against you. He, did. he was doing some wild. I don't even know. To Tech was one of the people I was also very scared of losing oh. to. Uh, thank you. Uh, I was very scared of losing. Oh, that today. bugged me. You just took the clear trophy and you just grabbed it. Like you can put all your fingerprints on it already. It's mine. It's it mine. It is. You it's can mine. you can put as many fingerprints on it as you want. There you go. They can't even see it. They can't see that on camera. Just getting fingerprints there you go. all over. Getting it right those now. those Mew. Uh, does Mew have fingers? Yes, three. Okay. They're okay. Like little bars, but yeah. Anyway, so tech, tech. I was very scared of. I was very, very scared of tech because he is, in my opinion, the best scissor in the world. He's a super solid player. He's been improving so much this season. Um, but I don't know how much he's played the Shadow Mewtwo matchup. Um, it did seem I like he was disrespecting you in certain situations where there's not like a real out. Yeah. Like field, some field situations, especially. Yeah, and in field, I kind of got a kind of caught on to his defensive patterns. He, he definitely mm. likes to try and create space Yeah, yeah. Uh, with backdash. And he has, obviously, his CA is an amazing tool, and he uses it really well. But, like, I could throw it. Like, Shadow Mewtwo has such good ways to deal with that. Like, he has such active hitboxes mm -hmm. that he can just, like, throw out, like, huh. I like your usage of jump X, actually. Late jump X to beat it. That was pretty dope. Yeah. It's like something we'd see from, like, normal Mewtwo with jump Y, but, like, way slower, you yeah. know? <laughs> was, I, I'm surprised I got that. That was, like... I, I, I've never done that before. I was just like, <laughs> I think this will work. You're like, all right, all right, all right. Uh, but yeah, I was like, this is slow enough that it will work. But yeah, um, he blew me out of the water game one. I was like, this is, this is about right. <laughs> that happened. I was like, this. I expected this. But then, like, I don't know. Like, I just like kind of pulled stuff together in, in game two. 
and like from there I kind of just yeah I, I, uh, I started to get more and more in control of the game as the as you time start went to on. catch him every time he's trying to slip away yeah I was talking about that like that's I think one of your like biggest strengths as a player is that when people try to slip away from you 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 start catching on super quick like when you did like like pretty much every time that you caught somebody with six X into vortex. On block, pretty much every single time. Dude, back I, those level, I level three vortex came on. I just I just sat there. <laughs> 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 Dang, he Bruh, walked over. Came on, just over. came over and knocked him my trophy. <laughs> Toxic. <laughs> Toxic. No, All right. Uh, so I guess uh, before this interview goes on too long, uh, yeah, is there anything what you want to ask me, ask me specifically or anything? Or um, so? what's your next tournament? I have the storm. What? I, I have the storm. storm. Okay. 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 I don't know if there's any, gonna be anything uh, before that, but I have the storm is definitely the closest thing that I, I'm 100 percent gonna go through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have the storm's what? It's, it's in September, right? I think it's in October. It's in October, really? I think so. Okay, I thought it was earlier than that. Um, maybe maybe it's the end of September. I think I maybe. think it's like mid October though. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so then yeah. at the very least, that's the next one. Yeah. I know they just announced it for Frosty. That was gonna be Dude, cool. I'm so sorry. Heck yeah, uh, I'm super excited for Frosty. I think you can say say hell yeah on this stream. Okay, hell yeah. I think I'm you're excited allowed. for Frosty. Frosty, dude, I went to Frosty last year, and that was such a good tournament. Like, just the people who run it are amazing. I'm going to go there every year from now on. Nice. Yeah, I've heard, I've heard super good things about it. I really want to go. If you can make it out, you definitely should. It's gonna, it's, it's an amazing tournament. All right. Um, it's run by people who care. That's that's good and rare nowadays. Uh, all right, last question. Is there anything, like, that you're looking into using in Pokin, at, like, going into the next few months like y you know you're, you're using obviously a lot of shadow mewtwo recently but and by that i mean pretty much just shadow mewtwo in tournaments uh is there anything that like you're like you know what i'm really gonna try is this or is it just like still in the shadow mewtwo path miss mages like that's that's something i okay, do think okay. I, I do really want to get better using it's a hard support to use and i need a lot of experience to use mm -hmm. it effectively what's up oh Ed needs his jacket. Oh. Ed, ed's a homie he, he lent me his jacket <laughs> the, for the for the bracket since it's cold and he got out earlier so like yeah, th good, shouts to him. Good strats. Um, that's oh. super cool. But right. yeah, so I want I want to use Miss Mages more. I probably like as the season goes on. I don't know how I'm gonna approach Mewtwo and Shadow Mewtwo. I am not gonna play Age of Slash probably like in tournament. Like I don't really care mm -hmm. for him. But um, Shadow Mewtwo is a character that I really like. I think he's really good and has been underrepresented for a long time. Mm -hmm. And I think my approach to the game complements him really well. Yeah, um, yeah. Or he complements me really well, I should say. And I I want to just I I'm just really enjoying him. I want to go as far as I can with him. I don't know if I'm going to go all shot of Mewtwo this season, but I'm definitely going to be using him a lot. And I got like the first couple of tournaments of the season, I just want to kind of want to use him. I, will, I wanted to be like, I wanted to cement myself like yeah, with him yeah, yeah. and like get used to playing him in tournament. Well, so now what? All in a row you've won Toriyuken, Evo, and this with him? No, I didn't use Tori. I didn't use him at Toriyuken You didn't? No, no, no. I used oh. Evo. I used him at just Evo. Just Evo and this thing. Yeah, yeah, Evo and this. Oh, my bad. I thought yeah. you used him at Toriyuken. I didn't get no. to watch. I was working for that one too, but uh all right, so this is at least, at the very least, two in a row, right? Yeah. Where it's been solo uh, Shadow Mewtwo. And then I guess we'll just have to see if I have song, right? I'm definitely not going to just, I'm not at any point probably going to switch back to just Mewtwo. I think I'm either going to use a lot more Shadow Mewtwo this season or at the very least co-main them. Gotcha. But well, yeah. it, it makes sense. It makes sense. You're, you're sticking with your name, too, you know? <laughs> After switching around to a few different things, it's like back to being like even more into the yeah, actual Mutator now. Smutator? Smutator? Yeah. I don't like that at all. That's I don't gross either. sounding. I hate it. I said, I said in tournament that you ha you had the momentum though. The what? The momentum. <laughs> no, that's good. I like that. I, 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 I don't know if good. I like it. I, I don't think, know. We'll I think, think it's about pretty it. good. All right. Any any last words though before we end this uh, interview? Um, Shadow Mewtwo's cheap. <laughs> Six play gang. All right. Well, congratulations and uh, Top ten. full on. I, so so uh, Kyobi, Kyobi. Uh, this is weird. This is like Wednesday night fights. I'm like talking to you about your. Oh my god, am I really doing this? Oh, I'm this not supposed to, to be on the mic. <laughs> Too bad. You're yeah. an official Pokemon commentator. Thank Kiobi. you for running the stream, by the way, Kiobi. Uh, Kiobi. I yeah. really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, well, anyway, super cool of you. do we have any more time on stream? I know that's a lot to ask, but we were finished so fast. We finished in an hour. Um, we have other games to play. We have in, other games. So All right. Unfortunately, I just, I just didn't know if like you know maybe they started at, like at the two hour mark or something, so that we just had more time to just like randomly. Um, according to our schedule, we're overflowing. <laughs> Oh, already? Oh, really yeah. So it's a good thing that we finished in an hour. Yeah. Oh, and congratulations on speedrunning top six. That was the fastest we've ever seen a finals finish. Hey, nah. -uh. that has been way faster. Really? Never forget, never forget, wing tie versus you place a winner brawl. Well, I'm not talking about the grand finals. I'm talking about the entirety of I the know. top six. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, anyway. All right, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, what do we got up next, Gobi? Um, I think we're, I think we're, we're let me rewind. We're winging in it right now. We got on the table Mario Kart 
No, not Mario Kart. Mario Party. Oh. Uh, That's what I'm here for. I, I, I don't care about Pokemon. Okay. Mario Party. Puyo yeah. Tetris is later, and Mario Maker. Mario, Mario Maker. Maker. Really? Ooh. Ooh. All right. So stay, stay tuned for something that has Mario in the name. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, that's a, that's good, a good bet. That's a good bet. Or Puyo, right? Puyo's later. Puyo's later. So, so it's not that. So anything that has Mario in the name, stay tuned. Uh, thank Mario you guys fan. for watching. Play Pokin, PokinArena.com. Add Dark on Twitter, like, hey, Mario's happening. Yeah, yeah, everything. PokinArena.com, Pokin, split. Wait, Shout wait. out to this hat. Discord.gg slash Pokin. Shout out to the hat, dude. I wore it. I never wear hats in commentary. All right, anyway, bye, everybody.